Welcome to Pharmaceutical Calculations, a conceptual approach. In lesson 12, we have developed a very powerful tool based on identify, construct, and solve to study general mixture problems. In this lecture, we're going to use the same method to derive the extended form of the mass balance equation and use it to solve two component mixture composition problems that are frequently encountered in uh, compounding pharmacy and pharmaceutics. Now, the two type of variables that are preserved in mixture composition problems is the mass of drug and the volume of solvent. And the rate associated with these two variables is the drug concentration. As explained in lesson 12, we can derive three equations. Equation 615, which is the preservation of the mass of drug before mixing and after mixing. Equation 617, which is the uh, which is the equation uh, related to the preservation of volume before and after mixing, and equation uh, six sixteen, which is also called the extended form of mass balance equation because it involves mixing two solutions instead of just diluting a single solution, as we have seen in lesson ten equation five. We are very familiar with this equation over there. Now, the final concentration in the mixture can be found uh, after solving equation 616 for C3. Now, it is important to know that anything that can be done with the method of allegation alternate can be done much better with the extended form of the mass balance equation. Let us take a look of our first practice example here. Example 66. Calculate the concentration of methyl salicylate powder that resulted from mixing 35 grams of 25% methyl salicylate with 15 grams of 10% weight per weight methyl salicylate. So first, we just write down our concentrations and masses of uh, powders here. So we have C1 as 25%. The mass uh, one is 35 grams. And we mix it with a concentration of 10% weight per weight and a mass uh, 15 gram. What is the concentration uh, with respect to the drug after mixing these two powders? So using equation 616 and solving for CF or C3, and of course the uh, total mass after mixing, mass 3 or, or mass F, is equal to 50 grams, we end up with a concentration of 20.5%. Now this is a reasonable answer because we have mixed a concentration of 25% with a concentration of 10%. Uh, so a concentration in between these two is a very reasonable answer. Now let's take a look of example 6-7. Prepare 0.5 liters of 70% weight per volume isopropyl alcohol from a 40% weight per volume and a 90% weight per volume IPA solution. So again, to the left we write our concentrations. We are mixing a 40% and a 90%. We don't know the volumes, but we know the final volume, that is half a liter, and we know the concentration of the resultant mixture, that is 70%. Uh, we seek to determine the uh, volumes of the two corresponding solutions. Now, we work the same way, actually, using equation 616 and 617. Starting from equation 617, we know that V3 is half a liter. And therefore, we solve this equation for V1, and we substitute V1 into equation 616. After you carry out the algebra, you end up with V2 being equal to C3 minus C1 times V3 over C2 minus C1. Uh, substitute for the numbers there, and you end up with 300 ml. V1, go back onto equation 617, substitute V2 here. We know that V3 is 500 uh, ml, or half a liter, minus 0.3 liters. You end up with V1 equal to 200 ml. So this is very nice, very convenient. Lastly, a promise from lesson 11. 
Example 5.9 says is asking you to calculate the concentration of a corticosteroid in anointment resulting from mixing 9.5 grams of hydrocortisone, that's the pure drug, with 40 grams of 1% hydrocortisone ointment. So please pay attention now. Now, the mass of uh, the first pure drug, we call it M1 or M capital one, and that's 9.5 grams. I don't have any excipients, but I have pure drug, and the mass of of the drug is 9.5 grams. Now, what is the concentration of this powder? Since I don't have any exhibit and it's pure drug, that would be 100%. So that's my C1. M2, the mass of, of uh, mixture 2, is 40 grams. And the concentration of uh, the ointment or the mixture 2 is 1%. Now, I know that the final mass of these two mixtures is 9.5 plus 40, 49.5. We are looking for the final concentration after mixing these two. So using equation 616 and solving for CF, substituting the corresponding numbers here, that's mass one, which is just the pure drug. C1 is 100% because I only have pure drug. C2 is 1% and mass 2 is 40 grams over 49.5, 20%. So this is much faster and much more efficient uh, method than the analytical method we described in lesson 11. Finally, the practice problems. You have now a very powerful tool that is the extended form of the mass balance equation to solve any two component mixture composition problem. Enjoy!